Oh, hey! Excuse me, I'm sorry, I was <laughs> busy looking at the missile being launched at the moon, okay? The government is launching a missile at the moon. Now, I'm not going to pretend as though I know the secret mission of what they're really doing. You know, I don't subscribe to the camp that says that this alien base is on the moon, okay? I'm not a part of that camp, all right? Uh, but I do not believe that we are trying to gather data in regards to water possibly being on the moon. And that maybe, there could, yeah, as one analyst would put, or one reporter would put it, that now astronauts may not have to worry about carrying their own water next time they go to the moon. That shit is crazy. <laughs> that somebody would even say such a thing. That's crazy. You know, maybe now astronauts may not even have to worry about bringing their own water to the moon. That's crazy. <laughs> and this is what's really ridiculous about it, is that we're so into this global warming issue and how to sustain life on this planet that they're discussing whether or not we should try to equip the moon to colonize there. Like, we already have life here, but how in the world are you gonna start from ground zero? I mean like, no atmosphere, no nothing. Even gravity is one sixth of the gravity that's here on the earth. Like, like why would you think that there's an opportunity to try to colonize there? Like that's crazy. So this whole thing about what, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. But I will tell you this. There has always been a concept that maybe the moon is hollow. Now, as far as them thinking that maybe they could crack it, um, it you know, I know there's people out there that think, wow, this missile is going to put the moon out of its orbit, you know, stuff like that. But that's kind of out there, in my opinion, because that thing gets bombarded with, you know, meteors and asteroids, you know, left and right. And maybe it hasn't happened recently, but judging by the big craters on there, it still hasn't been able to be knocked out of orbit or anything crazy like that, okay? So we're not going to go that extreme with it, even though some may, okay? But this is the point. But here's what I would like to offer. We all know that our body is 80, 90% water, what have you. We all know that the moon actually determines the tides and things of that nature here on the planet. And when we see a full moon, you know, people say emotionally it makes people go crazy, things like that. So it does have some sort of influence on human life, okay? So consider that. Now, if there's some sort of esoteric agenda that's been laid out as far as hitting the moon like that, that could be possible. But what I do see is that it's very strange that we would do something so far out there. So let me explain what I think is really going on. I know within the next couple of years there's supposed to be a meteor that's supposed to come within five hours of Earth or something like that, which means it'll be five million miles away. Okay, so it's just it's gonna it's gonna just miss Earth, okay? But then the next 20 or 30 years, that same asteroid is supposed to come back around and be a direct hit. I'm not sure how much damage it you know, would occur. I'm not sure how big it's going to be by the time it returns. But apparently that's been talked about. Okay. Now, what I think is going on is apparently these asteroids and meteorites have their, uh, they're made up of the same elements that's consistent with what you would find on the moon. So... I believe they're trying to see how much damage that one ton or two ton kinetic bomb would actually do. What, what kind of damage it would do to the meteorite or asteroid that would be coming uh, towards the Earth. So by blasting the moon, they could see, because apparently they're trying to see if it will actually go five miles wide. So they're trying to see how big of a blast that could be. Now. The reason why I'm saying that is, for all the other governments to kind of be okay with that, with them breaking that international treaty that you're not supposed to do things like that, like, you know, launch missiles at the moon, it kind of makes me feel like maybe there's something that they're not really being completely upfront about, but there really is something to it about us being hit by um, 
a meteor or an asteroid. So, that's what I see them doing. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. All the other stuff, ah, uh, you know, it's a, it's a stretch, but you know me, I'm all about going along with something that is kind of reasonable, um, that's not necessarily too far out there, but that's the only thing that makes sense to me. And with that, I'm out. Peace. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?